The reason why I'm making this video is to tell people why live a thug life when you're gonna live for Christ and be have peaceful, prosperity, and a purpose, and even live in your poetic ways. Why live a, a thug life? That's my message that I'll be dealing with with the seven D's of living a thug life. My friend, you gotta live this way. You're gonna live being a gang. You're gonna live being, being in drugs. You're gonna live being in hallelujah, the way you're living. Why live a thug life? It isn't worth it. It doesn't, it gonna cause you your death. Look at Tupac. Look at Biggie. Look at the person Lord to God, that live a thug life. My friend, it doesn't worth it. So I'm saying, if you're watching this video, my friend, I'm telling you a thug life. What is a thug? A thug is a person that beat people up. Ten reasons. I'm not going to say ten reasons. I'm going to say, why, why live a life of thug? Why live a life of thugs? I'm going to tell you why I live a life of thug. You think drugs is not the answer. Death is not the solution. Being dependent on substance is not the answer. Hey, glory to God, dope. Glory to God, I'm gonna put you in a hole and one day you wanna dig it and gonna fall into it. Five, Jesus Christ is the answer. Jesus Christ is the door. He's your only hope. Dope is not your only hope. Thug is a decision of the de devil operation. A thug. A thug life. The pen wrote to God. It deepened you to hell door when you die. I'm talking about thug life, my friend. A thug life is not the answer. The answer is in Jesus Christ. If you are a thug... If you are a criminal, if you are a bully, you go around beating people up. One day, somebody going to beat you up. And that's not somebody one day, you're going to go to hell. He could be beat up by demons. The Bible say, Lord to God, they be weeping and gnashing of teeth. One day, hallelujah, the bucket going to turn on you. One day. You're going to be in a wheelchair. One day, you're going to be behind bars. One day, you're going to be in a coma. And one day, you're, gonna, and you're not going to wake up. You're going to be viewed by many while you're in a casket. A thug life does not pay. What pay, preacher, being a Christian? What pay, being connected? What pay, confessing that you are a sinner, that you need a savior? And a savior is not your money. The savior is not the women that you sleep with. The savior is not the heroin and not the cocaine that you snort in your nose or the weed that you, you blow up in the white paper and smoke. The thug life does not pay. Look at Tupac. Look at Biggie. Look at all those people that were thugs. Are they here today to tell you that it pay? It does not pay to be a thug. What pay, Lord, is being a Christian, being a believer of a God of the universe. I don't believe in a white God. I don't believe in a white man. My savior is not, is not a long hair, blue eye, and a hippie. That's not my savior. My savior, in him I live and move and have my being. My savior is not a black man with locks. That's, that's, that's not my savior. My savior doesn't have blue eye with long hair. That's not my savior. My savior is in John, the fourth chapter. Hallelujah. He said, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Do you know that there, there's black presence in the Bible? I'm a black man and I'm proud to be black, but I'm not racist. Because the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God is not a God of color. He loves whosoever will. But don't give me that Jesus Christ is white man. He's not a white man. He's not a black man. He's not a Puerto Rican man. He's not a Chinese man. He's not an Indian man. But God is a spirit. And that
they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. So if you are thug, you're going to die. But don't die at the hand of your wickedness. But live the life. And if you die, die proud of being a righteous person. One day we're going to die. Because Hebrew 9.27 says it's a point in man who wants to die. Then the judgment. Hallelujah. Are you living a thug life? Excuse me, young man. Pull up your pants. Young lady, pull up. God, glory to God. Even women now are thugs. Ah, you want to go to school and, and learn the education. You want to be what God made you to be. A thug life does not pay. What pay? You be righteous. What pay? You be ready for the rapture, for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Not even the rapture. Cause I don't believe in the rapture. I believe in the second coming. I believe in the resurrection. A thug life does not pay. What pay, preacher? By you living right before God. Not being a hypocrite. Don't look at church for. Look at the Christ. And the Christ is Jesus Christ. I'm saying to you that's watching me. I was a thug. Yes. But I decided to give my life for the truth. And the truth that's created a lot of enemies. Enemies of your own household. Enemies, go to God. Here am I in my 50 plus years. And I'm telling you, if you are a thug, you're going to die and go to hell. But you don't have to die and go to hell. Die and go to heaven and to be in the second earth. One day we're going to judge. We're going to be judged by God that you don't believe. Are you a thug? Wake up and give your life to God. Give your life to the Savior. Give your life to the potentate, the propitiation of your sin, the one that died on the cross. Whether it be a tree or a cross, he died for your sin. He's not willing that any shall perish, but all men shall come to repentance. The life of a thug. My friend, I was a thug one day, but I decided to give my life for Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not no white man. He's not no black man. He was a Jew. And Jew are not European. Hey, Lord, come on. Jews are not European. Jews can be an Ethiopian. Jews can be in Africa. Jews. The life of a thug. Glory to God. Can I pray for you? Go to my Father God, bless this person right now. They're living a life of a thug, oh God. They're following people, they're following the crowd, they're not following Christ, they're not following the conviction, they're not following their conscience. Oh God, bless this person right now, whether they're male or female. Give them, let them give their life to Jesus Christ. The only hope they have is not in dope, it's not in jewelry, it's not in nice cars or castles or clothes, but Jesus Christ is your answer. Touch this person right now. Touch this person right now to put down the gun and pick up God. Put down the bottle and pick up the Bible. Pick up, put down death and get delivered right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.